Alright, so hello, Morgan Boss 27 here with another video. Today I will be showing you guys the best Diamond Dynasty game that I think I've ever played. So let's hop right into this after this clip is done. So first battle for them is Luis Robert. So, so be, this will be post commentary. So we had, I think this is a fastball coming, but oh one count. He hits it right. This is a perfect ball. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I looked down for a couple seconds. So I walked right past the ball, and he ends up getting the third because of that error. This made me real upset, but this game is it's a good game. Up next is Gavin Lux, 2-2 two, two count. Okay. And then he just stuck him out there. Up goes Henry Mary strikes him out. Up next is Larry Walker. Gets a perfect hit in between my third and shortstop. So it's now a one nothing game. Chipper Jones comes up, 0-2 count. Ground ball to Gavin Lux, and that will be the top of the first. First up for me, 0-2 count, Andrew McCutcheon. On the mound for him is also Max Freed. He strikes out here in the dirt there will be one up for them next up is Carlos Correa on a 2-2 count pitch here is hit well perfect perfect this made me really upset perfect, perfect 84 power doesn't even get to the warning track which sucked next up is Gio Urshela 1-2 count 2 outs base is empty there you go Hits that one well too, but just not enough. Didn't get enough BCI on it. That will be three outs. That's it for the first inning. For leading off the second inning for them is David Ortiz. Let's see. He hits a ground ball to Gavin Lux as he will get the easy out at first. Next up is Veggie Jackson, 0 1 count. up the middle and just a quick heads up in the sixth or seventh inning I run out of clips so that will be just the entire game with no cuts or anything but next is Jorge Prasada oh oh one count as he hits a good fly ball left center field but I am on Andrew McCutcheon is under it and that will be two outs next up oh two count for Max Freed and then we get him here, I think. Yep, strike three, three outs. Heading into bottom of the second, but it's still a one nothing game. And then Josh, Josh Naylor's first at bat, he gets hit, so I don't feel that. Slow ground ball to first for Jacob po Jacoby Ellsberg, he will beat that out. And then out comes Buster Posey. This word me, because I got a hit and run, and then the right fielder barely misses it. And I don't know what his center fielder is doing, but Buster Posey gets a third, and Jacoby Ellsbury scores. Up next is Max Fleet, and here I yep, strike out. 2 2 count. And next up is Luis Robert, 1 1 count. Here we're going to go low and outside here. See what goes down. Hoping it works, and he barely hits this there. Not barely, but. Bounces off the foul pole, and he'll get into second easily with this. I think it was stand up. And then up next is Gavin Lux. He will hit ground ball to first. Josh Naylor will toss it over to Max Reed. That is one out. One out. One out first and third because I walk Hanley Ramirez. This ball one. And then. This ball, this would have been a double play if Johannes Cespedes was able to get there. But they score 2-1 to one on that RBI single. And then here, they don't send him home. So now bases are loaded with one out for David Ortiz. 2 nothing count here. The pitch is hit well in the left. 
and Cespedes throws it. Now, I don't know what happened here, but his runner from second ends up accidentally getting sent back to first. And they sense his runner from, he tries to send Larry Walker home. As we get him in a pickle, Max Drew misses the attack, then attacks him right after, and that'll sell the annual end, so it's now 3-1 for him. Gavin Lux up 0-2 count. Hits the fly ball well, but just not deep enough. Didn't get enough PC on it once again, and that'll be a fly out. Next up is Andrew McCutcheon. 0-2 count, and then gets hit right on the foot. Barely hits him on the foot, I'm pretty sure. I don't see where it hits him. Up next comes Carlos Correa. He hits it up the middle, just through the pitcher's legs. And McCutcheon goes to third. And he will be safe there. Runners first and third with one out for Gio Urshela. Let's see what happens here. One more count. Grounds to short. Grounds to second, I think. I think that's got to look for him. And then double play. Top four. Reggie Jackson up. 1-0 count. Use the ball. Deep to left field. Heading towards the foul lines. You're going to Cespedes will make the play in left. And that is one up. Up next is Jorge Posada. First pitch will be a fly out to right. Or not fly out to right, but yes, fly out to right. Fly, I meant fly ball to right, but we get to fly out on it. Next up is the pitcher, Max Freed. And then a bunch. Gio Rochelle should make the play, and it just goes doesn't get his hand down enough. I'm lucky that's not a fast runner because that'd probably be a double. Up next is Luis Robert, 0-2 count. And that will be a strikeout on a high inside fastball. Up now is Josh Naylor. And then this was something I really want to show you. I was debating about keeping it in or not. But he goes, I think it's a 1-1 it one -one count. He brings in Drew Pomeranz. And then the first pitch the Drew Pomeranz throws will go ahead and hit Josh Naylor. That's the second pitch that's hit Josh Naylor in this game. Two at bats, and he's been hit twice. Up next is Joanna Cespedes. He grounds it up the middle. I think he went to dive there, but he ends up just jumping. And I got runners on first and second with no out for Kobe Ellsbury. And here we get. A beautiful bunt down the line. Goes to second, doesn't get the out. So now we have bases loaded with no outs for Buster Posey. And I think this is where we go. No, I think we get. And he hits a deep fly ball here. I go to tag up, but he does. The runners don't tag up till right till he throws it. So then the runner gets tagged out at home. So we got two outs runners on first and third for the pitcher. And then he gets, I think, so yeah, I bring in a pinch hitter for Max Freed. He gets hit. And then Gavin looks at the deep ball in the right field. That ball's out of here. So it was now five to three. And then Andrew McCutcheon strikes out on a ball in the dirt. That will be three outs. Top five, Hanley Ramirez is up, one out, 0 2 count. And that will be a strikeout. Larry Wheeler comes up, another 0 2 count. Or sorry, not Larry Wheeler, Larry Walker. It's a fly ball to center field that Andrew McCutcheon will get to. That is three outs. And then Carlos Correa up, 3 2 count. And that is a strikeout on four seam fastball high in the zone. Up next is Gio Urshela. Another 0-2 count. Let's see what we got here. A low ball in the dirt that I swing and miss on and that will be two outs. And then up comes Josh Naylor. Hits a swings outside on it. Couldn't get enough on it and that'll be a stuck line out. Up next Chipper Jones. Hits a ground ball down the left field line, and he will get a double stand up. No, slide in with the double. Up next is David Ortiz. And then one two count. Just got a strike out there on that splitter in the dirt, pretty much. Up next is Reggie Jackson. 
we hit him with, I don't know what we give him. We give him a, he gets a grounder back up to Chapman. That will be two outs, top six. Runner on third for Jorge Posada, 2-2 two, two count. Runner on third, two outs, like I just mentioned. We'll give him a, hit a ball up the middle. So they score a run there. So RBI single for Jorge Posada with two outs. And then they bring in Dominic Smith. I bring in Cody Hewer. Well, they brought someone else in. I bring in Cody, throw a pitch. And then they bring in Dominic Smith. So I got Luis Robert runners on first and second, two outs, as he hits a ball to Gavin Lux, and that will be the top of the sixth. Johan Cespedes crushes a ball into left field. I didn't get really good PCI placement, but I got enough of the ball, to, and he has enough power to where that ball will get out. Now it is a 4-6 to six game for my team, the Red Bulls. Up next is Jacoby Ellsbury, 0-1 count. Hits a ball into the gap. That will be a double for Jacoby Ellsbury. I think this is where it's the pure game play. No skips or anything coming up right now. Buster Posey comes up. gets Takes a pitch high and inside. And then misses on a pitch there. I think it's better that this is where I ran out of clips. Because this is actually where the offense starts to heat up here. This is where the game starts to get high scoring. So now we got a 3-1 count for Buster Posey. Now we got a 3-2 count. Runner on second with no outs. Got a pitch here. Got a foul ball. Just foul. Next pitch here we got... High deep fly ball to right field. Oh, perfect, perfect. That ball will be gone. Buster Posey with the two run bomb. And then here I bring in a pinch hitter. Another pinch hitter for Cody Hewer. I'll make sure I get. I think I bring in. Who do I bring in? I think Danny Jansen. Correct. Do I? Yeah. And then. What happens here, and then I have to go to the bullpen, make sure I have someone warmed up. I schedule to put him in the game for when this half of the inning is over. And then we got a low pitch, swing and miss. And now we got an 0 1 count here, high and outside curveball. That's a weird location to try and hit, but so I got a 1 1 count, high fastball. Didn't get my PCI up in time, I mean, I did, but I swung late. And then this one's hit straight to David Ortiz. Hit it really well. It's just not in a good spot. It's not, you can't complain about something like that. Up next is Gavin Lux. Here he just gets under it and is laid on it. Laid on the pitch there. Next pitch is a ground ball up the middle. Gets through. That is another base hit for Gavin Lux. He's now two for four on the day, I think. Two or two for three, maybe. He's entering, he brings in Trevor Rosenthal now to face Andrew McCutcheon with one out. Next pitch is an inside fastball for the ball, 1-0 count. Now we got ball hit down the left field line, hit very hard. Now we send Gavin Lux to third, Andrew McCutcheon to second. Now we got a one out double running on second and third. Correct. Now I got Carlos Correa up, who could really do some damage here. He hits the ball. It's a shortstop. The shortstop for some reason decides he decides to throw it home. So now now we got runners on first and third with one out instead of runners instead of a runner on third with two outs for Gio Urshela, and that is a ball one nothing count here. Ball in the dirt to the swing, so now we have a one one count. One out, and now it is a one two count. Runners on first and third. Let's see what we can get here. Ground ball to David Ortiz. It just gets past his glove. So now we got an RBI single. Correa almost almost goes too far. Almost gets caught going back to second. And that's actually counted as an error. I didn't see this when I played, so this is news to me. 
Josh Naylor 0 for 1 with getting hit by a pitch twice. Hits the ball deep to the right center field. It is caught. Carlos Correa goes to third, and I think he gets gunned out here. Yes. So that'll end the inning. It is now 10 to 4, heading into the seventh inning. I think this guy's team name was the Los Angeles Mashers. And I am the Los Angeles Rebels. So we bring in Christian Javier. Because I didn't have any other lefties with energy. I had Tyler Matic, but he had he didn't have enough energy for me to bring him in. And now we got Gavin Lux up. And we got ball crushed by Gavin Lux. I just think I left it a little too high, didn't put good location on it, and also a very good piece of hitting. So that's now 10 to 5 top 7. Hanley Ramirez is up. First pitch of this at bat is a ball hit to left field. Yoan Cespedes will make the play for one out. Feeling good. At this point, I'm like not phased that he hit that home run. But I'm not it didn't drain any of my confidence, but I was like getting a little bit like okay, he's still in this game. He hasn't given up yet. But now we got two outs on a ground out to Gavin Lux from Larry Walker. Up next will be Chipper Jones with a double and a single, so two for three on the day. So he's we'll give him a hindsight fastball here, see what he can see what he does. He'll take it for a ball. Next pitch is a I think, I think it's a curveball maybe or slider change up. I have no idea. It's him with the slider inside and low. So it's now a one one count, two outs for Chipper Jones. Go curveball below the zone you know, swing and miss maybe and he fouls it down the line so we now got a 1-2 count and then we go in a pitch low and inside again maybe slider here takes the slider as we have now have a 2-2 two two count throw this as he grounds out to as he grounds it to Carlos Correa and we will make that throw to end the top of the 7th We got a solid 11 minutes left in this game. So up next is Yoenis Cespedes. Trevor Rosenthal still on the mound. I think I dropped on PCI here and I was let very, not very late, but late on it to where I wouldn't make contact. Almost got that slider, foul it off, 0-2 count. So I figured here my square cheek, my chair squeaking in the background. Is now one two count as he misses that fastball. Ins high and inside fastball misses. Oh, we miss on a high and inside fastball. Up comes next comes to Kobe Ellsbury as he crushes that ball high and deep to right field. Does that hit second deck? It does not. It's on the concourse area and that actually bounces back onto the field. That is his second hit of the game. Up next is Buster Posey to see if he could hit his second home run of the game, make it back to back as he will hit a fly ball to right field that will be caught by Larry Walker. As we got two outs in the bottom of the seventh inning. Christian Javier comes up as our pitcher spot comes up and we bring in who do I bring in? I think I bring in I think I bring in Ozuna here. As I think about it and then I just Cause I never hit well with Ozuna, so I never thought about. It. I just have him on the bench. Cause if I play full games with him, we're probably gonna lose a lot. As I warm up, who do I warm up? Lucas Sims to pitch the eighth inning. Let's see, I only hit 163 with Ozuna when he was in my lineup. I took him out today because I got another left fielder to use. Well, I pull. I got Jacoby Ellsbury, so I put him in right, and I got Cespedes in left. Because I had Trent Grisham, I didn't hit well with him either. So now we got an 0-2 count as he pops up to the catcher. And that will be three outs. Now I got an 11-5 game. 
He has 11 hits, I have 12. It's just the majority of my hits have been home runs and have scored RBIs. So now we bring in Lucas Sims here to pitch the eighth inning. I think first pitch is a fastball low and outside here. It ends up being, it was actually a changeup, sorry. I don't remember what pitches I picked to throw in any of these, but so we have an 0-1 count to David Ortiz. This might be the curveball here going inside. Another ball. I think I was also changed up. So we got a 1 1 count. So I thought it was a 2 0 count. And then that ball is a fastball down the middle that he could have crushed. Which I'm lucky he didn't. But now we got a. He tries. Stops. Holds up from swinging. So now we got a 2 2 count going ball low and inside in the zone. As he can't, as he just freezes at it. Next up is Reggie Jackson, who's 1 for 3 with the single. Who is. Who will throw a first pitch slider in the dirt. Wow, and then next pitch is changeup or curveball? One of the two. As it's a changeup. Low in the dirt, pretty much. Low and inside. Now we got a sinker. Low and outside. As now we have a 1 2 count with one out. Then we go high and inside fastball. Drops, but he didn't get enough on it for it to get out. So you want to assess, but this will make the catch and left. I accidentally step off here because at this point I have my controller plugged in so it would charge which is probably do right now just so I'm not wasting energy but so yeah we got a one nothing count to Jorge Posada as I put my controller down Josh nearly throws it to first as that is two outs in the eighth Now up comes Gavin Lux with a home run and a single. It is an 11 to 5 game here, bottom 8. Swings at a ball that I can't even see where it ends up, which I end up doing that a lot because I think it'll be in the zone, but I drop it. So I bring my PCI down and it just ends up being in the dirt and I swing at it. That's why you see me strike out on a lot of those pitches. But then he throws another one of those pitches in the dirt. I warm up Raleigh Fingers just because I don't want. I don't want to risk my guy coming in for two innings, especially if he's like the setup guy. I don't want him to pitch multiple innings. And then Gavin Lux gets under it because I didn't raise up my PCI. I thought it would be right down the middle, but it wasn't. And that will be one out in the eighth inning. Coming up next is Andrew McCutcheon because I have Gavin Lux as my nine batter and my pitcher spot as my eight spot. Just so I don't have to worry about my pitcher being the last guy to play and the, the last guy up in the inning or be up with one out and stuff like that. I'd rather have him up in the eighth spot. It's basically what Joe Madden does. I saw, I heard that Joe Madden does it and it ends up, it tends to work. It tends to work. It tends to go well to where you have your lead off, one of your best contact guys hitting nine instead of having your pitcher hit nine and they end up getting more runs there. Gio Urshela comes up, he hits a foul ball first pitch and that will be three outs because the Ortiz will get there. And we are heading into the top of the ninth. As I get ready to bring in Raleigh Fingers as he brings in a pinch hitter for his sorry, as he brings in a pinch hitter I think that's what's happening he's entering the quick menu. Yeah, he brings in Edwin Rios, and then I bring in Raleigh Fingers. Now first pitch, I know this, I throw fork ball first pitch. As he swings and misses at that. The next pitch, I think this is the fastball, because I always throw fastball like in the first couple pitches. 
is just to see like you know the velocities and stuff on that as it's a 1-1 one, one count so I go what am I throwing here slider low and inside as he crushes it foul but next pitch here to one two count Edwin Rios and there's a ball sneaker at low and outside so I got two two count here going back to the low and inside corner as that ball is fouled off back to the catcher which Buster Posey does not make the catch because it bounces off the floor into his glove as that ball's hit hard into the right field as McCutcheon picks it up throws it to the cutoff man and that is a leadoff double for Edwin Rios up comes Luis Robert who has a triple and a double this pitch gets hit foul on the fastball pretty almost right down the middle I think I was relieved that he fouled that off and then this pitch is inside sinker for a ball which is a 1-1 count now early it crushes that ball I try to time it I start I get the run a little bit too late so now that it's a two run home run for Luis Robert Up comes Gavin Lux, and he completely loses his bar after giving up one home run, which is very upsetting. But I'm going to throw a high inside fastball right there. Hit to center as McCutcheon will make the play. After that, I'm hoping, okay, he should have his bar back, which he ends up not having it back. And hold on, let me pause this real quick. Okay, so I'm back. I just had a. Uh, I just got a message from someone. As Raleigh Finger starts to get tired, he's wearing an 0 1 count to Hanley Ramirez. So we get an 0 2 count as we, I think, here we get our bar back. That's what we do. And I throw a high inside fastball. I was not high inside fastball because that's like the only pitch that I'll throw high and inside or I'll throw high at all. So now we got a pitch low and outside. Here on an 0-2 count as that is grounded over to Carlos Correa as he bobbles it, it's short. That's the second time that my infielders missed a ball that they shouldn't have that they shouldn't have missed. As he loses the bar right after that, even though it's the fielder's fault. And after we lose the bar, he hits a pop-up right back to Gio Urshela in shallow left. As this is the final at bat of the game, I'm pretty sure because low on time if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe here we throw high inside fastball popped up if you like this make sure to subscribe and like it i'll see you guys in the next